Threat of rain has tornado survivors patching up what they can to salvage what's left. One family is doing that while also grieving the loss of a close friend and family member. Steve Mailing went to Columbia to get a closer look. It's been a long past five days for residents in Murray County, especially here in Columbia. They're now resorting to tarping up roofs and bolting down doors as the weather continues to put a damper on cleanup and recovery efforts. The aftermath from Wednesday's EF3 tornado has made neighborhoods unrecognizable. Blackburn Lane, among others, one of the hardest hit areas of Columbia. Well, this place was covered in trees. Elizabeth McGrew lives at the corner of Blackburn Lane and Lasea Road, or at least used to. McGrew said she had just left home when it all came through. I got a call that they had gotten hit, so we jumped right back in the car. A rescue team had to, like, maneuver around the trees for them to be able to be able to get out of the house. McGrew says she and her family were okay, but her next door neighbor and soon to be family member was not. The lone victim, Cheryl Lovett, was killed after the tornado took her home off the foundation and her with it. We had just seen her that day. Uh, she had just gotten to see her grandbaby and she was super happy about that. She was a bright and uh, brilliant person. She she just lit up everything. McGrew and her family say they can't stay here, so they've covered the top of their trailer in preparation for rain, hoping to salvage whatever is left inside. Countless homes on Blackburn Lane are doing the same. McGrew never thought it could happen to her. It's, it's devastating, and I don't think people realize how devastating this actually can be. McGrew says even though the family has been through so much already, they continue to count their blessings and to be grateful for the things that they have today. In Murray County, Steve Mailing, WSB.